Hi, I'm Debbie Jenkins from chaosification.com and we help smart people get the chaos out of their heads and into valuable products and services for their clients. And today I want to talk to you about chaos because, well, I don't know, chaos is one of my favourite subjects. Uh, we are probably all feeling, uh, I don't know, that we're in chaos, probably perhaps even more right now, it's more chaotic than ever. You know, and this chaos could be in our work lives, or our home lives. It could be uh, we're introducing a new product or a new idea, or we're running a business. For us creative people, smart creative people, we've got a lot going on, and lives are, well, they're chaotic. And uh, I find for a lot of my clients, when they come to me, they say things like, well, you know, I need to control the chaos, I need to take control of it, I need to get it organized, I need to sort everything out to get everything out of my brain, get it all into this big system, organize, organize, organize. You know, and I, I have been there. This is one of my laments <laughs> relatively regularly. You know, how can I get this cat? My desk is a disaster. I've got stuff everywhere, files open, and tabs, like about 10,000 tabs open. And, you know, um, I understand and have the same desire, this desire to control the chaos. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to tell you, yeah, control the chaos, we just do system, we'll stick it all in this chaos and everything will be ordered and boxed and we'll be sorted. But it doesn't work like that. It really, really doesn't work like that. And you know this. And uh, so this, this desire to control the chaos uh, gives us a headache, it gives us pain, it gives us a hassle. And if we could get out of this desperation to control chaos and just actually learn to enjoy it, then our lives would be quite a lot easier. So I've got a way of thinking about, and I'd like to share them with you, thinking about the chaos, just to make it feel a little bit less invasive. And I think about chaos as it's a bit like a wind or a breeze. Uh, sometimes it's more like a storm or a, you know, a disaster. Uh, but if you imagine that the chaos that comes into your life and the chaos that you're living in right now is a bit like a wind and it's a breeze, and sometimes it's very, very strong. Sometimes it's really stormy and you're in the eye of that storm. And then other times it's more gentle and calm and you can, you know, start to see uh, the end to some chaos and sort of things. But what you do know, with, what you all know with wind, is that it comes and it goes. And sometimes it's stormy and sometimes it's gentle and calm. And that is how chaos is. And uh, I have some tips to you, four tips. I did it to be three, but it's turned out four. I've got four tips for you for how you can feel comfortable in the chaos. Now, the first one, imagining that our chaos is like this breeze, is that, well, in the same way that you can predict the wind and predict the breeze and predict the weather, you can predict to plan and to, uh, to prepare yourself for chaos. So if you know something's coming along that's going to create more chaos for your business, for your life, then you can prepare for it. So you can predict to pre prepare. You can bring more resources in or do more um, self-work or some take care of yourself a bit stronger. Um, so that's number one, predict to prepare. Number two is you can change the chaotic environment. Now, if you've got kids, you're probably thinking, Deb's suggesting I just get my kids out. Well, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know, I've got animals and I know how much chaos they can bring to a life. I'm not suggesting that. Make them out. I'm not going Anyway. But you can change your environment. You can change the chaotic environment that you're finding yourself in, that you're living in. You can reduce the chaos by closing a few doors and windows. So stop adding more chaos. You can change where you are uh, physically or up here. So you can actually change your environment a little bit to weather the storms of chaos a little better. That's number two. Number three is you can learn to influence this chaotic wind, you can learn to influence it. You can harness it. If you imagine, um, you know, with, without the wind, we wouldn't have the kite surfers and the windmills and that we can tip our hats at. You know, we wouldn't have these fantastic things if we didn't have the wind. So we can learn to harness it. We can take its power and we can take advantage of it. We can set our sail to, to, to go to a different port to take advantage of the wind. From a business point of view or from a you know, creation point of view, you can learn to 
influence the chaos that's in your life so you can add more or take some out you can uh, create more chaos I think that's my favorite subject okay and finally you can just well I'd love you to learn to enjoy the chaos so realize that it's you know as you're leaning in to chaos realize that well you know as the stoics say this too will pass that's it for today. See you tomorrow, guys. Ciao for now.